Leonard if, Fournette. If you're yes. excited for this hot goodness too, why don't you go ahead and yes. hit that bell, like, subscribe, so that way we can keep putting out more fantasy football content for you guys. Um, all right, well, I guess we're starting out with some Leonard <laughs> Fournette news. <laughs> Uh, Leonard so happy Fournette about this. Signed a one year, $2 billion contract to play NFL football for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, Jeez. Are you excited about the landing spot? Or are you just excited he got signed? Because I'm not so thrilled. <laughs> I, there, I think it was all the Ronald I'm, Jones hype. Yeah, I'm faking it until I'm making it. Um, okay, okay, so, so you're just, not thrilled. It's like I'm. Wa- <laughs> Do I have a choice? Honestly, you're just happy he's on a it's team. One of those, yeah. Oh, he got picked up by somebody. That's great. You have a chance at the, the board bet the, again now. <laughs> yeah, twelve and a half. <laughs> like, could he be a could he be a RB one? He'd have I mean, to score fifteen so. touchdowns because he's going to only have like five hundred yards. Like, he's going to be the goal line back. Do oh, you know man. that though? We don't like. We don't know. I I literally had multiple people texting me being like, what do you do about the backs? The Bucks backfield. You and stay I'm like, away. I don't. You stay away from it. If you've already had Leonard Fournette, I think you're happy. Like if you already drafted him, I think you're happy with where he landed. Uh, Bruce Arians is like Ronald Jones is still our starting running back, which Bruce is terrifying. Arians said but, it's his job. Nothing's changed for him. And he said that he Leonard Fournette is a heck of an insurance piece and that they'll see what role he has out of camp. So a heck of an insurance piece. Uh, Where do you draft Leonard Fournette if you draft this weekend? What round? It's a great question. I, I know where I mean, he was already going in he, the tail half of the third, early third, fourth, fourth when he was the sole. Right, where he was the sole guy for Jacksonville. Can't take him there. So, no. uh, Right. Obviously, he falls a little bit from there. Ronald Jones was going in the fifth or sixth round. Does he replace where Ronald Jones was going? Do they both go in the fifth, sixth round? Obviously, if he's sitting, like for my money, if he's still sitting there in like round eight, nine, ten, obviously, I think you have to take him because the potential value is there. So... I mean, based on that round six. Yeah, I would say I would say yes, I would probably both of them. Yeah, I was going to say I'd probably drop them both to about the sixth. Um, Also, all reports are that LaShawn McCoy is going to be the third down back. So yuck. It's just a three headed monster, at least until Fournette learns the system. And I think that Bruce Arians runs a complicated offense. So I think it's going to be a while. I mean. Second half of the season, my money is on Lenny, right? Like, yep. I just, I think in the meantime, yeah, I, he's like I a think goal you just line stay back. away. I think you just stay away from it. And if, like, if somebody takes him this, if somebody takes Leonard Fournette in the sixth round, if somebody takes Ronald Jones in the, in the sixth round, and they end up being an RB2, you're like, hey, congratulations. Good job by you. Well, like, do you really want to be the person that's, do, do you want to be the person that's taking the risk to get a potential zero return? Which one where, would you take? I mean, hopefully head to head. Who would, who I, do you I pick? would take Leonard Fournette. I, I, I would I, too. Would hands Fournette. down. There's he no was a top what, three, top five pick th- in the NFL draft versus Ronald There's no Jones. reason why they would pick him up to not use him, but they also have shady McCoy. Like, they they have Vaughn who they just draft like I don't I have no idea what's going on there I don't think they do either the again the later you pick the more clarity you might have maybe they'll cut somebody maybe they'll maybe they're going to cut Shady over the weekend and then maybe that improves Fournette's value at least a little bit but I I think it's just a total stay away it's I mean classic Tom Brady backfield where it's just like, I don't know what's going to happen. Probably shouldn't use them. We don't know if they're even going to be fantasy viable, but at the same time, like Leo being there and him potentially being a goal line back, does that somewhat discount Mike Evans? Does it 
discount Godwin? Does it get discount Gronk or OJ Howard, even though he's not getting drafted? I think maybe a little bit. See, I don't think or, so. Or if even anything, Brady. I think, I think he's a better runner. I think he's the better running back than Ronald Jones. I think maybe it helps him like be more efficient on first and second down. And so they're not in like third to long situation, third and long situations where they're trying to convert longer third downs. I think it might help the offense as a whole be better. Like talk about a star studded offense that might like it was already fantastic before it's really star studded now, but yeah, it's, it's definitely the most talent that Tom Brady's had around him. And he just happens to be what? 42 or something like that. Like Mm -hmm. it's almost not fair to a 28 year old Tom Brady at, at this point. So yeah, I, I don't know. Stay away from the backfield. Find somebody else. But if you, if you get to the seventh round and and there's some guys sitting there, like f, f it, fire away, pull the trigger. I think I think you have to. If if for I I think Fournette. I think probably. I guess my initial reaction is like, I think Fournette is a is a better running back than Ronald Jones. I think Ronald Jones will have the oh, job at least yeah. initially. But I think that like. You would have to think that Fournette will eventually take over the early down duties altogether, right? And so if you can get him in the sixth or seventh round, then he's could potentially be like a league winner at that value assume in the second half of the season. I don't know. Yeah. It's just it I I, I just hate that I thought Ronald Jones had huge value going where he was in the fifth round, sixth round. That value is yeah. totally evaporated overnight, and um, I think I think it's just going to be a ride the hot hand. Bruce Arians has said over and over again who his starting running back is, and it turned out not to be them. There's yeah. there's very much past history in, in saying that, so I think you just kind of ride the passing attack and try to stay away as much as possible, unless the value just gets to the point where it's just overwhelming. Yeah. 